Hello, I'm Dr. Francis Pitsilis. Your nails reflect your health. When I see patients, um, I like to look at people's hands and I like to look at their nails as well because they give me clues as to someone's health. Your nails give you an idea of your nutritional status, whether you might be deficient in something like thyroid or iron or gastric acid, um, and may also give me an idea as to what your occupation is, whether you have any particular habits as well. So seeing changes in the nails can be quite useful. Um, nails grow at about um, full length within three months. So they're recycled within three months uh, in a child and every six months in an older person. When someone has a significant life event, um, they develop something called bows lines. And these are horizontal indentations in their nails. So if you've had a lot of stress or a big illness, you'll see this indentation growing out. What else do I look at? I look at whether um, there are any white spots on the nails. That will tell me whether there's a potential for a zinc deficiency. What else do I look at? I look at whether there are moons at the bottom. If there are no moons on most of the nails, it can be related to a slow thyroid, but it also can be related to not enough gastric acid or poor digestion. Very often people who've been quite stressed um, can have a lack of moons and then possibly one way of helping with digestion if that's an issue is to have a digestive enzyme or to even in, uh, incorporate apple cider vinegar or other vinegars into your diet. I also look for any pitting um, which is the appearance as if you've got a needle and made an indent into the nail. Now pitting can occur with psoriasis um, and similar types of conditions. I also look for beading which is long ridges on the nail and long ridges on the nail can be related to diabetes, a slow thyroid, low growth hormone or low cortisol, the stress hormone. What else can I look for? I can look for whether the nail is curling up and that can be related to several conditions including lack of iron, diabetes, protein deficiency or autoimmune diseases like lupus or Raynaud's disease. I can look for thin brittle splitting nails which will give me a clue as to the risk of osteoporosis underactive thyroid, malnutrition and iron deficiency. I can look for a curling up of the nail, which we call coelionychia, which can tell me that you're iron deficient. I've mentioned that previously. So what are the things that could help your nails? Well, obviously, correcting all those deficiencies and dealing with those conditions already mentioned. If you want to make your nails a bit stronger, you could try taking some silicone because some studies have shown that that could be helpful. Vitamin E can be helpful in yellow nail syndrome, which is associated with heart disease, diabetes, and other significant conditions. Biotin can help nail thickness. So, what sort of conditions can afflict the nails that I can see? Well, the most common condition before psoriasis is a fungal nail infection. It will usually uh, account for about half of nail disorders and cause uh, thickening, discoloration and um, poor growth. Now, it's very difficult to get rid of and uh, applications are 10% effective drugs are up to 70% effective. But there is a new treatment available now called low-level laser therapy, which is a good alternative if you don't wish to have drug therapy. So as you can see, I can get many clues by just looking at the nails. I can get nutritional clues, 
hormonal clues and occupational clues and it can help me along with my blood tests and listening to the symptoms work out what could be going on with that person and what I might be able to do to help them.